In this module, you will learn about the natural vegetation and wildlife that can be found in different types of grasslands, deserts, and tundra region. If you look at the globe, almost one fourth of its land is green. These areas represent the grasslands. Grasslands are vast open areas that are covered by grass. Not many trees and bushes can be found growing here. Except the continent of Antarctica, grasslands are found on every continent. Did you know that in different continents, grasslands are called by different names? The grasslands in Eurasia are called the steppes. In South America, they are called the pampas. In North America, the prairies. In Africa, the savanna. In South Africa, the veldt. And in Australia, the downs. These grasslands are classified into two main types. Tropical grasslands and temperate grasslands. Tropical grasslands are located near the equator between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. These can be found in Australia, India, Africa and South America. The climate in these areas is usually hot and dry throughout the year. The rainfall can vary from heavy to moderate. Some of these areas do experience a season of heavy rainfall followed by long bouts of drought. During the drought season, natural fires are a common phenomena seen in the grasslands. Seasonal drought and natural fires prevent woody shrubs and trees from growing here. Additionally, whatever few shrubs or trees manage to grow are eaten off by the large mammals. The grass in tropical grasslands can grow up to a height of 3 to 4 meters. Some isolated trees and shrubs can be found growing in areas where there is groundwater. Large animals such as elephants, giraffes, lions, leopards, hyenas, zebras, buffaloes, and kangaroos to small animals like mice. Moles, goppers, ground squirrels, snakes, worms, termites and beetles are common in tropical grasslands. Birds like ostrich, emu and rhea live here too. Almost half of Africa is covered by tropical grasslands. These are called the savannas. Other tropical grasslands are the campos in Brazil and the llanos in Venezuela. As we move to the north of the Tropic of Cancer or south of the Tropic of Capricorn, the vegetation changes to temperate grasslands. Instead of tall grasses, most of the temperate grasslands are covered by short and nutritious varieties of grasses. Trees or large shrubs disappear from the landscape.
temperate grasslands receive a lot less rain than tropical grasslands. They experience hot summers and cold winters. The major temperate grasslands include the wells of South Africa, the prairies of North America, the pampas of Argentina, the steppes of Central Asia, and the downs of Australia. Large animals like bison, pronghorn, deer, Wolves and coyotes live in temperate grasslands. Also, small animals like prairie dogs, rabbits and mice live there too. You can also find birds like grouses, meadow larks, quails, sparrows, hawks, and owls, and snakes and insects in temperate grasslands. Did you know that the soil of temperate grasslands is very fertile? That is why grasslands are major farmlands for growing cereal crops such as wheat, oats, barley, milo, and corn. Now let's look at the lands that lie to the north of the Tropic Cancer and to the south of the Tropic of Capricorn. Most of these lands are covered by deserts. Desert regions have harsh climatic conditions with very little or no rainfall and the extreme temperatures. As you can see, about one-fifth of the Earth's land area is covered with deserts. Deserts that are located on the western margins of the continents are of the tropical type. Tropical deserts are the driest and hottest places on earth. Rainfall is very scanty and irregular. Due to these harsh conditions, vegetation and wildlife is scarce. Animals like the camel and the mongoose and a variety of reptiles and insects live in deserts. Cactus, prickly pears, turpentine bush and yuccas grow in these deserts. The Sahara Desert of Africa is the world's largest tropical desert. It stretches for 32,50,000 square miles. In India, the Thar Desert in Rajasthan is also a tropical desert. Did you know that not all deserts are extremely hot? Deserts in North America, Europe and Northern Asia are extremely hot during the day and very cold during the night. They are called semi-arid deserts. While deserts in the polar region of Antarctica, Greenland and parts of North America are always cold. These deserts are called cold deserts or tundra. Tundra regions are lands that are extremely cold, covered with frost 
and devoid of trees. Did you know that the word tundra comes from the Finnish word tanturia, which means a barren land? The vegetation in these regions is sparse and treeless and limited to mosses, lichens and very small shrubs. Seals, walruses, musk oxen, arctic owls, polar bears and snow foxes are examples of wildlife found here. These animals have a thick fur and skin to protect them from the acute cold. There are two types of tundra regions in the world. Arctic tundra and alpine tundra. The Arctic tundra is mainly located at the top of the world around the North Pole. The alpine tundra can be found in the mountainous regions all around the world. In this module, you learned that grasslands are vast areas that are covered by grass. Grasslands are classified into two main types, tropical grasslands and temperate grasslands. Tropical grasslands are located near the equator, between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. The savannas in Africa, campus in Brazil, and the llanos in Venezuela are examples of tropical grasslands. Temperate grasslands are located to the north of the Tropic of Cancer and to the south of the Tropic of Capricorn. The major temperate grasslands include the wells of South Africa, the prairies of North America, the pampas of Argentina, the steppes of Central Asia, and the downs of Australia. Tropical deserts are the driest and hottest places on Earth with very scanty and sporadic rainfall. Vegetation and wildlife in tropical deserts is scarce. In India, the Thar Desert in Rajasthan is also a tropical desert. Tundra regions are the lands found in the polar regions of Europe, Asia and North America that are extremely cold, frozen and treeless.